there's like oh my god wait wait no yeah tomorrow is the one week mark for the mexico trip oh my god that okay that's a little bit closer than i thought it was tomorrow's tuesday and then i leave the following tuesday oh, gotta start packing i gotta okay <sighs> but anyways what i wanted to talk about was my youtube preparations for before i leave um you know how like in yesterday's vlog i was kind of debating whether or not i should bring my laptop and at the end i was kind of leaning towards bringing it well now i'm thinking i won't bring it because i realized a huge problem if i go to upload my video in the lobby well, one, I have to sit in the lobby, which is boring, but I likely won't have a plug-in for my laptop. And then it would just die, because it only lasts for like an hour max before it dies. So I'd have to deal with that. So I'm just like... Because <sighs> I, I kind of wanted to bring it anyways, just to have, in case we did want to use the internet or something. But it's really heavy. It's like a 10-pound laptop, so... Now I'm leaning towards not bringing it, and that's probably what's going to end up happening. Someone suggested using my iPad to edit, but the thing is, I'm not bringing my iPad. I'm for sure not bringing my iPad, because I'm just too scared. It'll get stolen or lost or broken or something. And also, I would have to edit, like, you can get an iMovie app, and I did download that app onto my iPad, but how would I even get the video footage onto my iPad? It just would not, it just would not work. So... I guess that just means I'll upload some videos when I get back. And I mean, I do have the day off when I get, I get back from Mexico kind of late in the night, but then I have the next day off. So if I wanted, I like what I kind of would like to do is combine two days and make that a video and then combine the following two days, make that into a video. And that way there would probably, I'm gone for like eight days. So there'd be kind of four Mexico videos is how it would work out to be. So that's, I think, going to be the plan, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get those all uploaded before I upload any other vlogs, because I want it to be sequential, so that's just the way it's going to be. So there's going to be, like, a ton of vlogs up the day after I get back, hopefully, that's my plan anyways. So that is the schedule for that, and in terms of my art channel, what I want to do is, uh, someone reminded me, I don't have the username memorized, someone, when I was looking through the comments, reminded me that I want to do Prince Jack Frost, kind of part of my Princessify series. It would be a Prince Jack Frost, and I already know the style of outfit I want to do, something similar to Hans in Frozen. I just, oh, his outfit is just so good. I really like the look of tight pants and tall boots, so I'm going to do something like that, but it will be Jack Frost. And um, because that's another speed drawing video, what I would also like to do in, before that one is do one of my challenge videos. It'll either be the right hand challenge or blindfold challenge. So I have to record both of those before the weekend. And then one of them will likely get uploaded um, maybe like Friday or Saturday or something. And then the next, the following one will be scheduled to upload while I'm in Mexico. It'll just automatically go public. Yeah, tonight's just another boring night. Um, I was just kind of replying to a bunch of comments on my on a video since that just went live and Christian is watching Heroes and I was kind of watching a bit of that too and so yeah just taking it easy for tonight don't look at me like that you're always judging my every word I'm chewing on my nail well that's bad too you don't even have nails show show your nails your non-existent nails yeah yeah there's nothing to even chew on bad Christian yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I've been putting off eating supper because I just don't know what I want and I'm just not that hungry. So then I decided to make a smoothie. And I'm not using any spinach this time because whenever I use my chocolate protein powder, I don't like to use spinach just because I don't like the thought of chocolate and spinach together. <laughs> so I have a banana, some strawberries, the chocolate protein powder, and then some milk in the bottom. So here's my delicious concoction. And then I have a little bit for Christian because I couldn't fit it all in my cup. I couldn't fit it all in my cup. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, get back here. No. I was just going to point out he's wearing green on top, gray on the bottom. And I got green on the bottom, gray on top. I was wearing black pants, but then I took them off when I get home. Because that's what I do. I take my pants off and put on my comfy jammies. Because I like my comfies. I mean, my pants are not that uncomfortable to begin with, but... Pajamas are much better, and I don't have to wear a belt because I always have to wear belts with all my pants because they fall down. Because in order for them to fit around my thighs, I need a belt because then the waistband is too loose. I'm just, 
I'm just really weird tonight. Seriously, I've been sitting like this, like not even facing my computer. My computer's here. I'm just sitting here with my feet up. So I've seriously just been sitting here doing nothing for the last while. Like, it's weird because there's so much I could do that I want to do in my spare time. But right now I'm just, like I, I get in these moods sometimes where I just want to stare at a wall. I don't want to do anything. I don't even want to watch a YouTube video. I just want to stare at a wall. I don't know. I don't know. But I think we're going to watch some Once Upon a Time right now. And maybe have popcorn? <gasps> we haven't made popcorn yet. We bought a huge box of popcorn, so we should eat some of it. All I have was a smoothie, okay? I'm kind of hungry still. <laughs> that means I want the popcorn. Oh, oh. Franklin's back. The ghost. So we're on season two, episode 10. This was for you, Jacob. <laughs> I'm lazy. So I have this dilemma with work because while we're going to Mexico, my, our studio is gonna be changing offices. We're moving to a new location and I won't be here for the move. And so whatever kind of security passes they need to get in, I'm not going to have. And I was asking my boss about this and she was just like, oh, I don't know. And like, she wasn't even sure what was going to happen because we're moving to a fill, like an area where there's film studios. And so it's gated and there's like this, you have to go in at a certain spot because it's all gated because it's high, kind of high security because like there's actors and stuff there. So they have to keep people out. And so I'm just going to show up and be like, Hi, I work here now. And they're going to be like, get away from here. And I'm going to be like, Me. and I don't even know what building it's in because there's multiple buildings because there's a bunch of studios and stuff. And I'm like, I don't even know where to go. And it's going to wander there on my first day back and just be like, see what happens, I guess. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'm kind of excited. It'll be like a little um, adventure. So, yeah, but that's my little dilemma. <laughs> I'm so jealous of daily vloggers that don't have to work full time because they, they don't have to deal with trying to film crap in the evening in like a three and a half hour window. It's so lame. It's like I get so frustrated sometimes because I'm like I want to improve the quality of my vlogs but I can't. I just can't. I'm at work all day. I just can't. Oh well. Hopefully I can just find a way to make them more interesting. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Right. I've acquired the Animal Crossing crown. Actually, it's a daisy crown. But we can pretend it's an Animal Crossing crown. So I just sat down on my computer, started editing the vlog, and I was like, wait a minute, I forgot the main thing I wanted to talk about in tonight's vlog. I thought of it before I got home from work, and that's why I didn't vlog it at the time. Um, okay, so I had to stop by Shoppers Drug Mart to pick up some contact solution because I was 100% out and needed some if I want to take out my contacts tonight. And since that's the same building where the post office is, the one I want to get a P.O. box at, I thought I would swing by and just like see what the status is and see if maybe they skipped over me because I remember at the time um, they put me on the waiting list. I gave them an Alberta number and they were kind of iffy about that at first like they had to ask someone else if that was okay so I just wanted to stop by and make sure everything was still okay with that and it turns out like there was kind of some confusion the lady was checking on the computer and like talking to her boss and apparently there is a P.O. box available and but the set of keys they have isn't for that P.O. box it's really weird because they had the keys for box number 50, but something like box number 52 is the one that's supposed to be available. It was something really weird. So I'm not sure if there for sure is a box available or not, but the lady told me to come back tomorrow morning. They open at 8 a.m. And she said that her manager, and she like gave me the lady's name and everything. She said that she would be there in the morning and that I ha should talk to her about getting the key and whatnot. So like, it sounds like there's a chance I could get a P.O. box tomorrow morning. Might happen, might not happen, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know because that's the first update in this P.O. box hunt because like I said before, I could get a P.O. box at a different post office. I have to go to a different post office to pick up any packages I receive, but I hate walking up the hill to that post office. There's a much more convenient one on the way to work. I can just, it's where I have to transfer trains. It's like right there. So that's where I want to get my P.O. box and I might be getting so I'm super excited. So I'll definitely let you guys know the outcome of tomorrow morning's visit. And I just really hope I get the post office box. 
<laughs> Anyways, okay, good night now for real. Okay, bye. So I finished the Anna picture. Ma! This is the final result. And I'll talk about it more in the art video, so I'm not going to say too much about it. But I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. So the clips from the video are just being transferred onto my external hard drive because I've mentioned this before, my desktop